I've called this little slideshow Embracing the Search, but I was actually tempted to call it How the Old Masters Can Teach You to Embrace Imperfection. There's a term called pentimenti, and in Italian it means repentance. In art, what it refers to, in essence, is the sign of an alteration of a painting or drawing, where you can see the traces of the artist changing their mind. When I'm teaching beginners, one of my main goals is to break down the fear of failure and to encourage letting go of unhealthy perfectionism. Often through school, students are taught to create a rough copy and a good copy, to get rid of any so-called mistakes. Unfortunately, this just instills unhealthy perfectionism and eradicates the beauty in the process of seeing. I want my students to embrace drawing in a deep and fearless way and to develop their critical eye as opposed to their judgmental one. The difference is a critical eye sees things through a problem-solving lens and speaks to themselves more like, what's not working with this? And what decisions do I need to make to make it work? Whereas a judgmental one comes more from a personal perspective and sounds more like, I'm rubbish at this, I can't draw, I can't do this. So what I've got in this little slideshow is just a few drawings by some old masters. Because when we look at these artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo, we think of them as some of the greatest artists who ever lived. But look closely. This beautiful portrait by Andrea del Sarto has 14 lines where he has tried to get the line of the neck right. And this one by Michelangelo shows where he has moved the line of the leg a number of times. And this other one by Michelangelo, which I love, where he has drawn the big toe once, but obviously didn't quite understand what he was seeing, so he drew it another two times to understand it better. This makes me think of a quote by Kenneth Clarke. They say that Leonardo drew so well because he knew about things, when in fact he knew about things because he drew so well. These drawings all show how these artists have embraced the act of drawing as a way of understanding and exploring the world around them. They were not worried about making mistakes, they were more concerned with understanding. I take great comfort in these drawings because they are beautifully exquisite drawings that show such a connection to what the artist is seeing and trying to understand. They aren't about perfectionism. They are totally about the experience. And through that experience of searching, they've created these incredible drawings. So my inspiration to you is that if the old masters can allow these marks to remain, then so can you.